Welcome back to Couple Movie Watchers with Anna going solo tonight with Dexter's New Blood episode 9 called The Family Business. I am so excited. I can't wait. But first, like, subscribe, share, and comment, please. We appreciate your love. Um, let's get back to the show. So the last episode, Harrison almost gets killed, but Jim saves him. And, um, you know, he's talking about the past and how Harry taught him how to use uh, to use a code and about his dark passenger. And, you know, Harrison is listening to him and he's kind of like understanding where he's coming from. And he tells him, like, I, you know, Jim tells him, I do what the law fails to do. I fix things. And he tells him about a story about this clown guy that would kill innocent children. He tells him, you know, that he goes and investigates first, make sure that he has all the evidence. Um, and then he, you know... At the beginning, he just, you know, talks about it a little bit, but he doesn't go into detail after he gets them. He just says he scares them and, you know, lets them go. Well, he didn't say it. He doesn't say it. Harrison kind of, like, puts words in his mouth. And then he was like, yeah, you know, he didn't want to say the truth because um, Deborah is in his mind saying, hey, don't tell him. Don't tell him everything kind of stops him from saying anything and um while he's talking to him about the past and everything Angela's looking up info on the Bay Harbor butcher and um you know they go um she's over here investigating and everything and then Jim and Jim and Harrison go and visit Angela and Audrey give them presents, they're spending time together, and then Kurt stops by and gives Angela a gift, bumps into Harrison and Dexter, um, and then Kurt and Dexter have a few words, Harrison is the only one that can't fake the conversation, he was just staring at him, like, being cautious. So, um, after they spend some time with Audrey and, and Angela, Jim and Harrison go to, you know, go to um, Kurt's cabin, the the one that's all far far away, um, to investigate mostly and see if there's like a place nearby where he keeps his trophies. So he's basically telling him all his steps teaching him how he does his thing and um you know Harrison is interested in it they're like actually bonding which I like you know because he knows what he's going through and how he feels and it's just a like a nice bonding time and, and the episode's name kind of like says it all like you know family business teaching him the ways and um you know, while they're investigating and scouting, um, Kurt goes to Jim's place and splashes gasoline over, all over the outside of Jim's house, at, and then <clears throat> basically sets it on fire. And he's waiting outside to shoot them down as they run out of Jim's place, thinking they were there. And then he gets notified on his phone that. They were actually at his um, secret location, so he goes and tries to, like, get to them. And, um, you know, Harrison distracts him, and then Dexter, like, uses the needle and puts him down. And then they set up the, the space where he has his trophies, which is, like, over around... I look to me like around 20 people, 20 women in cases, you know, being preserved. 
And then the last, the last woman that we saw was Molly Park, the podcast woman, who was helping Angela find out what happened with Matt, um, with Matt Kurt's son. And it's just sad to see that she didn't make it. I was expecting her to be around, but I was kind of, you know, thinking like, what happened to her? She's she's been awfully quiet, but basically, Kurt got to her and ended up, you know, putting her down. And um, I was kind of like shook a little bit. I was like, no, she died, even though she was kind of like after after both of them. So it was like, you know, it's kind of sad, but. Yeah, so um, Kurt, you know, they wake up Kurt, and then Kurt talks about how he saves this woman. Because if they go and try to, like, be homeless and try to, like, you know, go around, she, he says that he knows what, what happens to them, and he's basically saving them from going through what, those women were going through that were getting involved with his dad and Dexter said that it wasn't an excuse for him to to have power over them and you know when he explains what what he did to his son he's like oh that's that doesn't make sense you know you're doing the same thing and he didn't want to hear it so he you know covers his mouth and then he asks Harrison if he was okay to watch or if he wanted to leave and Harrison decided to stay and you know he you know basically kills him and then starts cutting him up cutting his body up and then just hear the noise and he like you see the blood coming down coming down close to Harrison and the blood's like about to touch his foot while he's watching, he kind of like has this deja vu kind of feeling like a flashback of his childhood. <clears throat> and he tells him, he says that um, that he he's going to step out because he, he can't be there right there. Um, he just stays outside, gets some air, and then, um, you know, Dexter cleans up and puts, it, you know, puts the bodies in, in bags, and then they go and they dispose of it, and everything's good with them, and then they talk about it, like, oh, yeah, like, it's quiet now, like, they don't hear their dark passenger, and it's, like, kind of like a relief, he says, um, after you do all of that, you feel calm and, you know, and you feel like you, you save the world kind of thing, you know, save people from getting killed. So he tells him about, like, you know, that he was the one that took care of, you know, the guy that killed his his wife, his mom, and basically all the people that were doing wrong to other people. So he said, like, oh, I, I killed, like, around in the hundreds. And then Harrison says, like, oh, well, you saved thousands, you know, more more people than what those people were doing. And, you know, he they both feel kind of, like, you know, good about it. And then after that, they go back to their place and their house is all burned down. And there's, like, you know, the firefighters and the police Angela was there with Audrey and then they were you know Audrey was relieved that Harrison nothing happened to Harrison and then and then um Angela was asking them like what happened why didn't you pick up what's going on and he was telling her that they you know they were out since 10 p.m and he had it off because he wanted to spend some time with Harrison so he didn't know what was going on and then Angela was kind of like questioning him but you know Audrey tells them that they should stay over at their place and she didn't want it but you know Audrey invited them so they went to to Angela's house and she has a letter on her mailbox 
and I was like, I feel like that might be like something that Dexter should have seen first, but you know, she gets the note and it says Jim Lindsay killed Matt Caldwell and it has um, titanium screws from Matt's body's surgery thingy. And then she's staring at Jim and they both smiled at each other and that's how it ends. It is intense. I mean, he got rid of the killer, but now it's, you know, how it's gonna piece out at the end. I don't know. This is, it just got interesting, you know, how it's gonna plan out for the next episode. But, um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked my, the, the episode. If you, if you did not, let me know. Comment below. We appreciate your your comments and sharing and like liking the videos in um until next time peace <laughs>